For this designer's notes, I'd like to look at um, against the skin systems for winter running. Um, and this will also kind of link into to a, a separate designer's notes talk I'd like to do about sustainability um, in the near future. Um, natural fibres uh, have fantastic against the skin comfort. Uh, and I think we all know that, um, but it's worth repeating. Um, and for me, I'm particularly interested in silk and also merino, which is obviously a fair, fairly well-known um, sportswear natural fibre. For our base layers, um, we mix 25% silk into the, in with the merino. Um, now, silk is very good because it has the lowest uh, level of reactivity with the skin uh, you can get. So if you've got sensitive skin, I used to suffer very badly from eczema. Silk was the only thing I could wear against the skin. Um, so putting silk in with a merino makes it extremely comfortable against the skin, particularly if you're getting hot and sweaty. And silk also has a very high level of moisture absorbency, higher even than merino. So again, that makes it a very good fiber to, to, to mix with the merino, which is already super temperature regulating and absorbent uh, in its own right. These are just silk and uh, merino mix. There's no elastane in there at all. And so the stretch is, uh, is from, from the knit uh, of the fabric rather than being a, a stretch in the yarn. Um, and these base layers work very well over a fairly wide range of temperatures. So if you want to wear them under an ultra jacket, it's brilliant. You could probably wear that combination throughout most of the UK winter if you wanted or under an all-weather jacket in really cold weather, uh, those two garments and you can get through to minus 10 quite easily. Um, so, so it's a really functional uh, set of garments. There's a long sleeve and there's a short sleeve version. They're a really functional set of garments that just will fit in with the rest of your kind of winter running wardrobe. So this is part of our move towards using more and more natural fibres in our range uh, and you will see that increasingly over the coming coming seasons that we're going to increasingly use more and more natural fibres. Um, so that's the base layers. We also have now recently introduced um, merino underpants. Now over the last couple of years I guess I've been wearing uh, underpants more and more with my running tights. I'm preferring a thin running tight at the moment in cold weather the merino underpants give you just a little bit of warmth and a bit more support with a thin pair of tights. Um, they're a seamless construction, which means all the shaping around the crotch is, is knitted in, in a very clever way. So it means they can be made with a minimum amount of seams, but the right shaping and the right support. Um, a merino obviously is very good uh, from, a, from a kind of anti-pong, antibacterial point of view as is the same way as the silk and merino, so they don't have the issues with a kind of build-up of odour that you can get with, with poor quality synthetics. Um, and these are so good that these are now my, my everyday underwear, if that's not oversharing. Um, so just brilliant bread and butter running pants. Uh, and the, the base layers, if it's, you know, I wear a, a short sleeve, silk and merino base layer with my ultra jacket a lot of the time throughout winter if it's really cold I'll put one under an all weather and that will take you through to minus 10 um, so it's a really functional way of getting extra warmth into into your outer garments.